Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I was going to go home and do some work. I went to the parade this morning and went to the cemetery for the Memorial Day service. And uh, I was going to go home and do some work and I got sitting around editing a couple videos I put out. And uh, I figured, I decided no, I'm not going to work today. Uh, it's, it's a holiday and uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the day. I'm not going to work. So I decided I'm going to do something different that I haven't done before. Coming to a park in Delavan, uh, the closest I've ever been to this park is in the parking lot uh, playing Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to say that, but I, I used to play Pokemon Go. And uh, I used to come here and sit in the parking lot and play. But I've never actually been in the park uh, or uh, walked around. There's like a man-made lake here. So I thought I'd go walk around there, try to make it around around the whole thing today if I can. It's uh, 91 degrees right now, so it's a pretty hot one out here. So we'll go as far as I can anyways and see what it's like around here. Uh, I think you can go fishing here. I gotta check on that. It might, looks like it might be a good place to go fishing. So uh, maybe in the future I can come fishing here if it's possible. I'm not sure. I think it is. I think I've seen people fishing here. So I'm gonna turn this camera around. If you want to go for a walk with me, come along. Well, I guess there's my answer. I can go fishing here, it looks like. And it sounds like there's trout in here. That's kind of interesting. So I might have to check this out. Go fishing would be a good place to go. Sure is pretty around here. Ooh, those lilacs sure smell good. Wish you guys could smell these lilacs. Too bad we don't have smell of YouTube. Or smell of vision. Some pretty weird looking grass there. I hope you can all hear the birds. It's very very cool listening to the birds singing around here. Appears there's some kind of a pump or something out in the lake stirring the water up. That's kind of interesting. Another spot over here. I 
There's some geese over there. I see three geese. It's a pretty big area. Not quite as big as I thought it was. So I think I can I'll be able to make it all the way around with no problem in this heat today. And the squirrel over there looking at me. a pump or something running right here. It's pretty interesting. There's like pumps all out here. I see the water being stirred up over there and over there. That's interesting. Ed. If anybody knows anything about why these would be in here, I'm guessing it's for the trout. Uh, let me know. I'd be interested to find out. Like some flowers over here, we go around this way and see what's over here. Oh, that sun is so bright. Didn't pick the best time of the day to come out and make a video. Ah, oh, red-winged blackbird just came down swooping at me. I must be in his areas of his nest or something. Used to see them more when I was a kid. I haven't seen one for a while. I don't know if you can see the red wing on him. Oh, he don't like me in this area over here. Swooping down at me. He just came by me again. You better pay attention or you're going to be grabbing a hold of me. He keeps swo swooping down at me, that bird. He's, there he goes again. He don't like me. He's mad at me. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> that is a cool looking tree. Not sure what kind of tree that is. That bird is swooping down at me. He is mad. Look at him. Oh, there he is right there. He keeps coming after me. He's an angry bird. Angry bird. Yeah, get the heck out of his area. No wonder there ain't nobody here. Bird scared everybody away. Uh, they're probably all, everybody's at home today, Memorial Day, out with their family cooking brats out on the grill, drinking some beer, and uh, just sitting back and enjoying the nice warm weather.
get a very good view of the lake here or the water. I see a big old bird over here. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is. Maybe if any of you know what it is, you can let me know. It's not a sandhill crane. It's some kind of a stork or something. I'm not sure. When my when I was a little kid, my those things would go flying over and uh, maybe not these kind. I'm not sure. Some something similar to that would fly over with a big thing that looked like a stork. And my dad would always say, "There goes another baby being delivered." I hope this video ain't gonna be too shaky. I'm doing this all free-handed. I ain't using no tripod today because I'm on the move, I'm walking. There's a robin. It's our state bird right there. Since I, uh, I started my Back to Eden garden last year. I have lots of robins around my house because they like it because they can collect worms around there. But it's always moist even when the weather's dry my garden is moist and they can find themselves a worm to eat. Here we're walking right along the edge of the highway here. This is Highway 50 and the intersection of Interstate 43. In Delavan, Wisconsin. So I'm guessing I'm about halfway right now. Um, some breeze here. Hope, hope it ain't too noisy on the camera. It's always hard to tell. The camera always magna magnifies the, the wind noise. And sometimes I don't think it's bad. But yeah, there's another bird running those red winged blackbirds chasing another bird. Those things are mean today. This is a sign you can see from Highway 50. Pretty cool. I love these big purple flowers. I can't remember what they're called, but they're all pretty cool. Lots of motorcycles out today. They're loving this warm weather. I haven't even started mine up yet. Been too busy. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be another three three, four weeks before I get mine out.
coming up to the other side of the lake here where those geese were. Maybe I can get a little closer video of them. I'm not sure. Or they might take off. Actually, I see some of the geese further ahead, right on the grass in the area. Well, hopefully they're nice geese and they're not angry geese, like that bird was back there. I remember when I was a little boy, we had geese at home, and my dad told me, stay away from the goose, because it had babies, I think it did at the time. And of course, when Dad says to stay away, you do just the opposite. And that goose came after me, and I ran, but he, he caught me. And he bit me on the arm, and uh, that wouldn't have been so bad if it was just a bite. But he, he bites, and he holds on, and then he beat me with his wings. I had a black and blue mark on my arm. Boy, I learned a lesson that time. I listened to my dad after that because he knew what he was talking about. Not sure how my dad knew that. I'm guessing maybe he got bit once too. I'm not sure. come down here and see if I can get these geese down here in the water. Looks like they have some babies, so don't want to make them mad, but at least try to get a little bit of a video of them. Oh, isn't there some? Isn't that cute? I hope you guys can see it. I can't see my screen very good today. Get around this tree here. I don't know if that's mama and papa and the whole rest of the family too, all the little babies, but that's kind of cute. There's some more geese walking up here on the grass. Not sure if you can see them. But I'm going that way, so I hope they let me through. We'll see what happens. Might see a big grown man get chased by a goose on YouTube. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm walking uphill here a little bit and it's very hard to walk. And I wanna make sure I got one hand free just in case I gotta protect myself in case they come after me. They sure the heck ain't scared of people. I am getting mighty close here. This one right here, I'm guessing I'm within probably 14 feet from that guy right there. He's going to go for a walk with us.
At least they're not angry birds. Not like that other one. Boy, he was mad. That red-winged blackbird, he was a little stinker. He kept diving at me. So, I don't think there's going to be too much more to see from here to the other side. We're just going to be coming out to the end here and it looks like walking down the sidewalk. So, uh, if there's anything else, I'll turn the camera back on, but otherwise I'm going to turn the camera off for right now and put it on pause. There's a purple martin house out here in the middle of nowhere. You don't see them very often anymore. When I was younger, my grandpa had them all around his house, and he always had good luck getting them. I tried one. I put a purple martin house up once, and I never got them. But he was good at getting them. I don't know how he did it. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I bet these they love it here by the lake because... Uh, they eat lots of mosquitoes, and uh, this is just the perfect place for them by the lake. They got wide open place to soar around, and mosquitoes to eat. It's a perfect place for them. So, put this on pause again, and I'll talk with you when I get done. Well, I made it. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's warm out here, uh, but uh, it's not too bad. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Um, and so I'm going to let you go until the next video. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, I've been kind of on a roll today. Uh, this is my fourth video today, I think. So uh, I've been kind of busy out in the field and working on the car. And... Uh, I've been kind of haven't been able to get some videos out so I'm trying to make it up to you. So I hope you enjoy this video and have a wonderful day everybody.